We are very excited because today, Samsung is announcing a lot of new products in their hardware division. And we are gonna talk about some of the final leaks associated with the Samsung S10 Galaxy phone. Yes, now this is probably one of the most hyped phones back in 2018, now in 2019. Everyone's looking forward to it, especially with that Infinity O camera cutout. Yeah, there's a lot of cool features coming out. And the reason that it's one of the most hyped phones, if you look back when the iPhone X came out, everybody was mm -hmm. hyping out because that's the 10th iteration of the iPhone. Now this is Samsung's 10th iteration. So something has to be big. This is gonna be a big event. Let's get into the, some of the specs. So we know that there's gonna be three models, possibly four. Yeah. And they're codenamed Beyond Zero, Beyond One, and Beyond Two. We we know that Beyond Two, or sorry, Beyond Zero will be kind of like the entry level or the S10 Lite version. Yep. Similar to, I guess, the iPhone XR, XSR. Yep, it's gonna be a direct competitor against the iPhone's XR. There's also gonna be an S10 and then an S10 Plus, which is gonna mm -hmm. be the kind of the high end, more expensive model. Yes. All of them have similar-ish features. Of course, there are differences when you jump up from each range. So let's go into some of the specs, Nathan. Okay, so talking about the display. Yes. The, the light, S10 Lite will have a 5.8 inch flat display, so it won't mm -hmm. have the curved sides like you see on the, the Note 9. The yeah. S10 is said to have a 6.1 inch curved display, as mm -hmm. the S10 Plus is said to have a 6.3 inch curved display as well. Mm. The RAM, it's gonna be pretty crazy what the RAM is. I'm pretty, RAM and storage are, are pretty wild. For the, the light version, it's supposed to have six or eight gigabytes. For the S10, it's supposed to have, I'm gonna call the S10 just the, I guess the, the benchmark. Yeah. That's easier. The benchmark is six to eight gigabytes of RAM as well. Mm -hmm. And then the, the plus is gonna have six, eight or 12 gigabytes of RAM. That is crazy, 12 yeah. gigabytes of RAM. That's overkill in my opinion, but some people may have a use for it. But we did kind of do some research and mm -hmm. I think the reason that there's such a high RAM is because like you said in a previous video, Samsung's plan is to make the phone the daily driver for not only your phone, but also for your computer, right? Yes, they wanna use it so that you can dock your phone and then use that IO as your desktop which is gonna be kind of interesting. They have been implementing it and testing it. It's not there yet, but that's probably one of the things that they're shooting for. So with 12 gigabytes of RAM, that would make sense if that's the direction that Samsung is trying to go. Yes. Talking about storage, the, the light version is supposed to have 128 gigabytes or 256 gigabytes of storage. Mm -hmm. The benchmark S10 is supposed to have 128 or 512 gigabytes. And yeah. the plus is supposed to have 128, 512 or one terabyte worth of storage. A terabyte of storage? That's a lot. That would be nice, I will say. But would you even use all that? If you're going to be using that as a computer as well, yes. But we don't know that that's what's gonna happen. They, Samsung may announce it at their event, but yeah. right now, one terabyte? I feel like even on a laptop, that's too much. Don't you think? I mean, I fill up my terabyte on my laptop, Do but you? then I edit a lot of video. If you're someone who likes to download a lot of Netflix shows before you get on a plane, that could be an option as well. You know, you're taking 4K videos nowadays with your phone. You need a lot more storage for that. So I could see some people filling it up. It's not necessary. I mean, there's gonna be a huge price jump when you go from 512 to a terabyte. Absolutely. I'd be like, I mean, Apple charges you like an extra hundred bucks for that jump. Yeah, we'll get into the price in a little bit, but just keep going along with the specs. Yes. Regarding the battery, the, the light is supposed to have a 3100 milliamp hour battery. The okay. benchmark S10 is supposed to have a 3400, and mm -hmm. the S10 Plus is supposed to have a 4100 milliamp hour battery, which is pretty Ooh. big. The camera, Ooh. one of the things actually includes the camera. The light is supposed to have two rear cameras and one front facing camera. Yeah. The rear will be 12 and then 16 megapixels, and then the yep. front will be 10 megapixels. Mm -hmm. The Benchmark S10 will have three rear cameras and one front-facing camera. The 12, 16 megapixels, and then a 13 megapixels on the rear, mm -hmm. and then the, the same 10 megapixel front-facing camera. Okay. Now the S10 Plus is supposed to have three rear cameras and two front-facing cameras. 12 megapixels, 16 megapixels, and 13 megapixels on the back. Mm -hmm. 10 megapixels and eight megapixels on the front. Yeah. Five cameras on a phone. So we have seen some renders and Evan Leakes posted a leaked photo of it and we'll show it right here of what it would look like on the back with the five five sensors and then the flash. And it looks kind of cool. Yeah, no, I mean, they, they implemented it pretty well. It's like a sleek bar in the same position that they have on previous Galaxy 
lines, but Samsung is good at design. That's one of the things that they're known for, having mm -hmm. premium feeling looking smartphones. And this is no exception. So we know that the, the fingerprint scanner Ooh. for the light, it's gonna yes. have a, a side side mount sensor. Mm -hmm. yeah. But for the Benchmark S10 and the S10 Plus, it's gonna have an in-screen fingerprint sensor, Yeah, which is gonna be pretty cool. So they're using a new technology similar to that of Sonar, where it actually emits sound, bounces off your thumb, and actually makes a 3D render of your thumbprint, which is more accurate than just taking a photo of it. So that'll be pretty cool. All three phones are gonna be rocking the new Qualcomm Snap Snapdragon's 855 chipset. Mm -hmm. So we've talked about all the basic specs. Let's start talking about the juicy stuff behind this phone. Like Sounds what good. really matters. Nathan, give me some of the cool features. So we already talked about the, the in-screen touch display. Yep. That's gonna be really cool. Sonar. Another really cool thing is the renders that we've seen and the concept drawings mm -hmm. that we have seen do not have a notch. No, there's no notch. It's supposed to be an all screen front with the Infinity O cutout. Yes. So you may be asking, if you don't have a notch, then how are you gonna have a front facing camera? Well, Samsung has filed for patents and apparently solved this by cutting out a portion mm -hmm. of the top right of the screen and using that as the camera. Yeah, so it is the first time ever that there is going to be an OLED panel with a hole in it. They have done it before with LED panels, but those panels compared to OLEDs don't have the same rendering power, so to speak. Like they don't look as good. Mm -hmm. So this will be an industry first. So instead of having the notch where there's sensors and the camera, it'll have a blank screen, just like Santa said, but sound will be emitting from the screen. This is similar to the concept design, actually not concept, an actual design by Vivo Next, a cool phone from Asia where they have a sound casting technology mm -hmm. where the sound actually emits from the screen. And this is similar to what their the Samsung S10 is gonna look like. Now, I, I am a bit concerned about the sound quality. We don't know what it's gonna sound like yet. Anytime you put something in between the sound source Absolutely. and the hearing device, there's going to be some limitations. Yeah, hopefully it's not muffled yeah. or staticky or patchy. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Samsung, given, given their credibility, will have worked around that and they wouldn't do this unless they could actually make it work and work well. Yeah. We do know that it is unlikely that five that these three phones will be 5G compatible. Right. That's a new thing for 2019, 5G wireless networking. But Samsung might be releasing or unveiling some different phones that will be released later in the year that may be 5G compatible. It is also rumored that there's gonna be four colors, black, Ooh. white, yellow, and green. Ooh, oh, what happened to the blue? Yeah, I know, we, we did a video before and they said blue, but I yeah. think the green is kind of like a bluish tint. They so have not... done a forest green before in the past and it looked pretty good, but a yellow. They look kind of weird, but I'm sure Samsung has done a lot of marketing to see that these are the colors that people want. Huh. And I'm sure it won't look too bad if they are. I don't think the yellow will sell that well. I mean, if you look at even the iPhone XR, if you look at all the colors, yellow, isn't one of the best. But sellers. I feel like for uh, for Apple, they were like bold colors. Yeah, right? okay, fair. These are more faint colors. Now to talk about the price. Oh. So with all of these advancements in technology, you can expect that these phones, even the light phone, the light S10 will be pretty expensive. So we are expecting the light maxed mm -hmm. out version to be about $850 US, which isn't too expensive and it compares pretty well with the, the XSR. So now for the S10 benchmark phone. It is, it is expected that the price will range from 1,000 American to about 1,300 American. Yeah. And this is depending if you want the, the base model for the storage and RAM or the maxed out RAM and storage. Available. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Now in 2019 for the S10, right? The gold standard for Samsung right now is over $1,000. That is insane for a cell phone. But what about the plus? The plus, Ooh. my goodness. So if you want the base one with six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage, you can expect to spend somewhere around $1,150 American. Okay, so that's not too bad. No, but if you want the maxed out with 12 gigabytes of RAM and one terabyte of storage, Ooh. it is rumored that this will cost around $1,750 American. Oh my gosh, and that is before tax. Yes. $1,700 for a smartphone. Very, very expensive. Now, there was a tweet by Evan Leakes who said that the S10 Plus maxed out could be around $1,500. 
which is still super expensive. Again, we don't know that these are gonna be the final prices. We no. will find out at the Samsung Unpacked event what the actual prices and the actual mm -hmm. confirmed specs are. The information that we provided is the final leaked information yeah. on the phones. These are all rumors, but usually they can be pretty accurate. I mean, we'll know in a, in a couple of hours Absolutely. how accurate they were. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this rumor roundup. If you guys did, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if we missed anything or if you want us to check out anything. And of course, subscribe if you're new.